Let's go ahead and uh, check out the free agent class before we start, because there is uh, some players in there that uh, could be picked up, like Patty Marlowe, Louis Erickson, for example, who would uh, be a much better deal. So we're going to go ahead and sign Louis Erickson to a one-year, $1.5 million deal. I'm going to sign uh, James Neal to a one-year, $1.2.75 deal. And I'm not sure if... Lutrich got picked up or not. I'm assuming he did. No, he fell down to a, over here. So we're going to sign Milan Lutrich to a one-year, $1 million deal. That will give us some extra depth at Wings. And uh, I think I'll get Brandon Dubinsky as well. Uh, I'm going to sign Valentin Zykov for the AHL. Have him down there. Uh, I think I might sign another goalie as well, just to be on the safe side. Uh, Garrett Sparks, Ryan Miller, Chris Drydigger. I'll do Oscar Danks. I've always liked Oscar Dansk, so sign him to a three-year deal. Keep him as an AHL goalie. Which is accepted. Dubinsky rejected. Zykov accepted. Erickson accepted. Dansk accepted. Neil accepted. Okay. So this is going to be the first official okay. season. We got through the draft in the last part, and uh, we're going to head uh, Cheeky King as fall, so thanks. Appreciate it. Too sweet me. We're going to take a look at our roster before we uh, see exactly what we're going to throw out there for the first season. So let's look at our center depth. We have uh, Pedersen, Strom, Boyle, Donato, Lindbergh, and Chad Kingsley who could be sent down. Uh, so that's fine. This would be our center depth for the season. Left wingers, we got Kreider, Ferland, Rice, Moffitt. I think I'll call up uh, Louis Erickson and Milan okay. Lucic. Uh, Twinkie Emu has joined, or Twinkly Emu, I should say. Thanks, buddy. Too sweet me. Welcome to the club. Uh, we're gonna send down uh, Zach Moffitt uh, just for now. I want to see exactly who's on the right wing side before we do anything. Uh, Tuck Williams, Lewis, and Puliarvi, and then we have James Neal who could come up. Send Puliarvi down, I guess, or we could keep him up. Favorite team: Boston Bruins, man. All day, all time. Yeah, we're gonna call it Brendan Peary. We're going to send down Rice and Pulley RV, I think. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get picked up. I don't see why he would. Uh, both two ways. Yeah, so they're good. <laughs> Blood or Crypts, uh, Rough Rider. <laughs> uh, defenseman, we got uh, per uh, Colton Pareko, Zane Ochera, Brady Shea, Manson, Miller, and Bomeister. Going to call up another defenseman here. We'll call it Cromwell, I guess. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then goalies, we got Carter Hart and Brian Elliott. And then the system, we got Magdalene and Dansk. Keynes and seven? Oh, we'll see. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. All right, so we can add our lines now. Best lines. Let's see what they're going to throw out here. No, I don't want the assistant coach on. Thank you. Best lines. We got Justin Williams, Elias Pedersen, and Alex Tuck, Chris Kreider, Dylan Strom, and Louis Erickson. Ferland, Boyle, and Lucic. That is a big boy line. Then we got Brandon Peary, Ryan Donato, and Trevor Lewis. Uh, defensively, we got Sharon Pareko, Shea, and Manson, Cromwell, and Miller. And then in Nets, of course, we have Carter Hart and Brian Elliott. Uh, let's check out the AHL. We've got McElhinney and Dansk. Our starting lineup is Corey Rice, Jason Spezza, and James Neal. Followed by Remy Ellie, uh, Suomi, and Pulley Konakal, Reeves, Zykov, Kosala, Fanoff, and Moffitt. Uh, defense, we got uh, Yonk May, McQuaid, so these are just a bunch of random guys. G Gary Denisenko playing defense. Why not? <laughs> Stupid as hell. All right, so let's uh, get a month in, see how this team performs in the first month of the season. Plus uh, Vasily Podolsky, Matthew Boldy. There's Henry Ecker, the guy that I didn't want to be in this, but he is anyway, so I guess he's going to be in the fucking thing forever. Uh, Dwayne Van Allen, Capo Caco, Derek Ranford, Philip Roberg, Dante Hickey, Raphael Lavoy, Victor Soderstrom, Kirby Doc, Arthur Kellyev. Uh, yeah, okay. It looks uh, relatively. The only two guys that aren't there that are supposed to be there is uh, Jack Hughes and uh, Trevor Zagrez, fortunately. They got picked up already, but it's fine. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> two and nine. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a long time before we become a good team. I wasn't expecting to be a good team. It's uh, never a good sign when Milan Lucic leads your team in points with six and 11 games played. 
Uh, <laughs> never, never a good thing. Uh, Lucic with six, Thurlin with five, Alex Tuck with five, Pedersen with five, Boyle with five. Uh, not great. Let's check out the goaltending promo- performance this year. Ryan Elliott played five games. He's at 889, 350, and uh, Carter Hart's played nine games. He won one, lost five. Uh, 9 10, 2 5 8. Yeesh. Uh, I didn't think our defense there in Goldman was going to be that bad, but I guess it is. Um, let's check out how everything's going in the divisions. Let's take a look at the North American Conference. Cincinnati Gorillas on top with Louisville Lions and California Spartans. At the bottom of the North American division, we have uh, British Columbia Lumberjacks, Alberta Oil Kings, and North Dakota Bulldogs. In the Western are the World Conference. We have the London Dragons, the Madrid Toros, and Sweden Viking Guard. At the bottom, we have the Iceland Meteor Falcons, France Pioneers, and Czech Republic, really. Okay, that's interesting. Did not expect them to be so low. Peter Solarik, uh, sure, I'll claim Peter Solarik. Why not? 18 losses on the, se- on the season so far, uh, 8 wins. Guess who's going to be trading away everybody at the, the trade deadline? This guy right here. At least Elias Pedersen has taken over the, the point lead, which is good with 18 points. Uh, we have him with 18, Alex Tuck with 18, so that's our, our, I think Alex Tuck was on the second line, actually. Dylan Strom with 14, uh, Kreider with 13, Justin Williams with 11. Okay, that's a bit better, you know. I don't want to see the third line getting all my points. Uh, let's take a look at the goalie situations, see if that got any better. Um, seems to be splitting games pretty evenly. Uh, pretty much similar stats, nothing has really changed to that. Let's check a look. I know we're at the bottom of the, of the league, but we're going to look anyways. Uh, let's take a look at the North American Conference, Louisville Lions, my old former team, Houston Outlaws and Cincinnati Gorillas on top. The bottom is Alberta Oil Kings, Halifax Mariners, North Dakota Bulldogs. Western, or World Conference, is London Dragons, Madrid, uh, Madrid Taurus, and Spain Taurus, and the Egyptian Destroyers. At the bottom, we have us, obviously, with 16 points. Czech Republic with 20 and Finland with 20. I thought Czech Republic would be doing a lot better than they are. They are not, unfortunately. And then we'll check out another month. He's a big Eugene Melnick fan. Uh, Cromwell and McQuaid and my third for two seconds. Uh, yeah, I'm going to accept that. Got roster moves. Got to call up some defensemen now. I don't even think I have any defensemen to call. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have a defense. I got to have to go sign a defenseman. Could be anyone, really. I guess so. Uh, this guy's going to have to do Walensky. Uh, Michael Thurland has returned to the lineup. Uh, let's go to roster moves. Make sure we get the right... I want to send down. Fucking... Is he a two-way? He's a one-way. I can't send him down. He'll, get, he'll definitely be picked up. Who can be sent down that isn't playing? That's the real question. Brandon Peary, I guess. Uh, Ryan Donato. We'll send down Brandon Peary. Why not? Okay, apparently he wasn't waiver eligible. I thought he was. That's fine. I don't really need Brandon Peary anyways. All right, so uh, 15 and 25. <laughs> Had a trade there, got rid of uh, two defensemen. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I got two second round picks, but I had no defensemen to fill in the spots for them. So that was an issue. But, uh, we're going to check uh, how Elias Pedersen is doing, because that's the only guy that really matters on our team right now. Uh, Elias Pedersen, 37 points. Tuck with 32, not too bad. Dylan Strom with 27, not too shabby. I checked the goaltending situation. Carter Hart uh, is just falling off a cliff. Uh, probably should have, you know got a better goalie and had him play backup rules, but it's fine. I just hope he doesn't kill him and he doesn't become like a 70 overall next year. Um, let's check out the North American Conference, Hamilton Tigers, Cincinnati Gorillas, Wisconsin Bucks at the top. I believe the Lions fell off a cliff that, that month. Umbrella Oil Kings, Saskatchewan Stallions, and Halifax Mariners at the bottom. World Conference, Line of Dragons, Madrid, Toros, and Sweden Viking are at the top. And are we in the bottom? Czech Republic are still worse than us by two points somehow. I don't understand how the Czech Republic are so bad. Um, I thought they were going to be one of the best teams. I thought like an idiot, apparently. Let's get to that uh, next month. Then we'll get to the trade central. Trade deadline, that is, and get rid of everything. Uh, 18, 25, and 7. So 18 and 32. 
uh, or 31, um, 32, I don't know, my math's off. Um, just, it's just a great season. <laughs> uh, I spent him with 43 points, at least he's putting up numbers. Not the, you know, he's just just below a point per game, so it's not too bad. 37 for Alex Tuck and 31 for Dylan Strom. Some of my young guns are at least, you know, they're doing work. Uh, how are the goaltending doing here? Carter Hart, 42 games played, 13 wins. He's at 902.77, so he got better that month at least. Good for him. Let's take a look at the North American Conference. Cincinnati, Wisconsin, and Newfoundland at the top. I believe we're holding on to that eighth spot. Uh, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Alabama at the bottom. Western Conference, London Dragons, Egypt Destroyers, and Japan, Sweden. Holding on to the top spots. And the bottom is Russia, they fell. Uh, so it's through a tie, actually, for the bottom between Russia, Iceland, and Czech Republic. Interesting. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. We're 24-31-7, so 21-38. and 38, Or 24-38, and 38, I should say. Hooray. Uh, we're going to trade off pretty much everybody that has a one-year contract. I'm going to have to get some players back in return or sign a bunch of players in the free agency just to fill the spot. Uh, so we have uh, Elias Pettersson with 52 points, Tuck with 45, and Dylan Strom with 40. Let's see if uh, Carter Hart got any better. 902.82, so still pretty decent. Uh, from what he was last month anyways. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we are in the standings. We suck. Let's just make some trades, shall we? Uh, Zeno Chera. You're going full trust the process. Yeah, I am. All right, so let's look at rookies. Skaters. See if they have anyone. Brent's Pioneers. Eric Branstrom. That'd be a good choice. Let's try to get Eric Branstrom. It might cost a bit, but... Let's go... What they're looking for. I'm not giving you Brady Shea. Fuck that. Uh, I'll go Michael Furland and Shara. Doubt that works. Yeah, okay. I'll throw in uh, one of my seconds. Go Beijing's. Still rejected. Okay. And I'll throw in a third as well. There we go. Cool. Ryan Lindgren would be a good choice. I feel like we're, I'm going to try to get Ryan Lindgren for Jay Bomister. Uh, what are you guys interested in, eh? You want Brian Boyle? I can give you Brian Boyle. Brian Boyle and Jay Bomister for Ryan Lindgren. And I'll throw in a pick as well. Two second rounds next year, so let's throw him Beijing second. Then I'll fucking take his salary down. I don't give a shit. I have cap space for days. There. Is that better? There you go. Justin Williams and Jason Spezza. And Louis Erickson. Let's see if we can make a three three person deal here. Louis Erickson. Take uh, Jason Spezza's cap. Cam. Henrik Bjorkstrand. Uh, let's do Henrik Bjorkstrand. Sure. Uh, oh, Henrik Bjorkstrand straight up. Yep. The tankiest of tanks. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. Uh, best of luck to you guys. <laughs> Anyways, that is the season. Uh, we did terrible. Let's uh, take a look at uh, <laughs> how things went for Elias Pedersen. He had 61 points. Uh, pretty good year for him, at least. 61 points in 80 games. Alex Stuck had 58, and uh, Dylan Strom had 56. So not too bad for them. Ryan Denau had 41 as well. They put up some points, so I'm not too, sh uh, not too upset about that. Um, what our goalies do? Carter Hart finished with a 903, so he finished better than when he started, so can't complain there. Um... So let's check out the uh, playoff tree here. We have Japan versus Finland, Sweden versus France, uh, Spain versus Egypt, and London versus Italy. And on the other side, we have uh, 
the Bucks versus the Milwaukee Bucks versus uh, Utah, BC versus the Gorillas of Cincinnati, uh, freaking Newfoundland Whalers versus Hamilton, and Quebec versus California. So one of these guys is going to be the first ever uh, world hockey champion with the actual world involved. Uh, did we make the AHL? Uh, I, can't, I guess I can't even check, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's see where we finished overall. In the entire league, that is. London Dragons were the best team with 112 points. Good for them. And we were the third to worst team, so we're probably not going to get the first overall pick, but uh, we'll have a decent pick. Depends on the, 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 the draft lottery. So we're going to assimilate through the rest of the season and then decide uh, to check out who won the cup, check out everyone's stats, how they did, and uh, call it a stream. So let's get into it. Ooh, fifth pick. Man, we really fell. Fifth pick in the draft. That's a bit upsetting. Uh, we went from third to fifth, so that's not great. Russia, North Dakota, Germany, Alberta, and Iceland. Top five. Marion Hosa retired, Zetterberg retired, Colin retired, Franzen retired, Ryan Malone retired, Brooks Like, Eric Perrin, David Steckel, a whole bunch of shitty players that you never heard of. Uh, goalies, nobody retired in the goalie games, that's surprising. Um, Matt Cullen is now a scout, though. So so we look at the playoff tree, and you can see right there in the middle, the Cincinnati Gorillas, Harambe, was uh, strong enough to get them the victory over Sweden uh, in seven games. A pretty intense battle there. Uh, as we look over on the world side, Japan beat Finland in the first round. Uh, France lost to Sweden in the first round. Uh, Egypt beat Madrid or uh, Spain in the first round. And London uh, beat Italy in the first round. Uh, then in the next round, uh, Sweden and Japan went to seven games with Sweden coming up victorious. Same thing with London and Egypt, but this time London coming up victorious. And another seven game series for Sweden and uh, London, but Sweden came up victorious to get to the finals on that side. On the eastern side, Milwaukee beat uh, Utah with ease. Same thing with uh, Cincinnati against BC. Um, Newfoundland destroyed Hamilton 4 0, and then seven game close series between California and Quebec. Uh, Newfoundland then destroyed California 4-0, and uh, then Cincinnati destroyed Milwaukee 4-0, so back-to-back -back sweeps. And then a 4-2 victory for Cincinnati, so it looked like Cincinnati might have been the fresher team with uh, Sweden going to those uh, seven-game series three in a row, so that might have been the, the big difference in that. So congrats to the Cincinnati Gorillas, first time they won the world, or not the first time, but the first ever World of Hockey Champions with the actual world involved for Series 2. Let's go ahead and take a look at the awards ceremony and see how everyone did here. So, you know, Cincinnati Gorillas won that. Let's take a look at the player awards. Evgeny Malcolm won the Art Ross. Hard as well. Brent Burns won the James Norris. Patrick Kane won the Lady Bing. Elias Patterson won the Calder, so that's good. Uh, Robin Leonard with the Con Smites. Vesna with the Brayden Holtby. Devin Dubnik won the William M. Jennings. Bill Masterson went to Ryan McDonough. Patrice Bergeron won the Patrice Bergeron Award. Ted Lindsay went to Evgeny Malkin. Maurice Richard went to uh, Ovechkin, of all people, of course. Uh, Magda Pine won the John B. Sollenberger Trophy and the Les Cunningham Award and the Willie Marshall Award. Corey Rice won the Dudley Red Garrett Memorial, which is presented the American Hockey's most standing rookie player. Eddie Shore went to uh, Adam Baum, Alex Thompson with the best defenseman in the AHL. Steve Mason won the goaltender thing, and Jack A. Butterfly Trophy to Picard, Magdapine. It looks like Magdapine had a hell of a year. Uh, he definitely did. Uh, I wanted to switch over to the other teams, if possible. Thank you. Okay, so let's take a look at how everyone did here. Uh, starting with the Alabama Stampede, Austin Matthews, Brock Besser, and Artemi Panarin. Holy shit, that is a line. 63, 63, 62 points. No shit there. Uh, Alberta Oil Kings, Taylor Hall, John Taveras, and uh, Tebu Teravine. That's also a pretty good line. 87, 81, 64, respectively. Baltimore Beast, Tarasenko, Connor Sheary, and Middlestat. Okay, that's uh, a bit interesting. Uh, Tarasenko with 72 points, leading their team. Urbado, Svechnikov, and Trocek. That could be a pretty decent line as well. 62 points for Jonathan Urbado. Uh, Tyler Sagan to bring out Adam Rice. So Adam, uh, first player we see that made the NHL right there. 87 points for Tyler Sagan. Pasternak, Ryan O'Reilly, and Jason Zucker. That could be a good line as well. Pasternak was 72. Ryan O'Reilly was 71. Uh, Sebastian Ajo, Blake Wheeler, and Oliver Ekman-Larsen. 
for the Cincinnati Gorillas. That's the team that won it. I want to take a look at the full team here. Hall, uh, Duchesne, uh, Palmonville, Nyquist, Verana, Shaw, Morrissey, Ellis, Frolik, Sandheim, Eller, Bratt, Zajac, Dumoulin, Syke, Richie, Ennis. And we know that uh, fucking Leonard was in nets for them. Connor McDavid, Max Domi, and Anzi Kopitar leading for the Czech Republic Police. I'm surprised how bad they did with those guys on their team. Uh, Braden Point, Riley Smith, and Eric Carlson for Finland. France Pioneers, Morgan Riley, Dylan Lark, and Jake DeBrusque. Uh, Nathan McKinnon, Phil Kessel, and Jamie Benn leading for Germany. Halifax Mariners, Mitch Marner, uh, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and Anders Lee. Cindy Crosby, Radulov, and Rulé. Rulé in his first year. Once again, putting out points. Cindy Crosby, 95. Houston Outlaws, Alex Ovechkin, Alex Kalorn, and Nick Schmaltz. Ovechkin with 88 points, 56 goals. Uh, we checked our team already, so it's fine. Did we actually? Yeah, we did. Um, we did earlier, that's right. Claude Giroux, Steve Stamkos, and Ricard Raquel for Italy. Matt Sweden, Mark Scheifele, Corey Perry, and Mark Stone. One Dragons, Brent Burns, Alex Barkov, and James Van Riemsdyk. Only in their team. Johnny Goudreau, John Carlson, and Mika Zabinajad for Louisville. Spain had Jordan Eberle, Nico Heischer, and Brandon Saad. That's a weird top line, but it seems to work. Brandon Gallagher, Miko Ratten, and Nico Backstrom for uh, Egypt. Newfoundland had Brad Marchand, Ila Kolachuk, and Pavelski. Pretty damn good line. <laughs> uh, Bergeron, Line and Subban for North Dakota. Bergeron putting up 74 points. Benny Malkin, Voracek, and Barzell for Quebec. Malkin with 101 points. Jack Eichel, Philip Forsberg, and uh, Matt Zuccarello for Russia Kamashka. Saskatchewan Stallions, Matt Kachuk, Landeskog, and uh, Jonathan Taves. I mean, Vikingar, Lindholm, Jeff Skinner, and Andre Palat. Switzerland had Kuznetsov, Ehlers, and Meyer. Australia had Drysdale, Gord, and uh, Nylander. Uh, pretty low point totals for them. Kucherov, Kuturia, and Johansson for Utah. Kane, Parise, and uh, Carlson for Wisconsin, and that's it there. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the overall here, goal-wise, see how everyone did. 56 goals, yeah, I wasn't even close. Ovechkin just killing it. Assist-wise, Borchek was 60, and then point-wise, uh, 101 for Malkin. Way over uh, Crosby with six extra points there. Uh, let's check out the goalies. Let's see if anyone had an amazing season here. Devin Dubnik was a 937-183. That's pretty fucking good. 45 wins, 10 shutouts. It's impressive, to say the least. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at the... Actually, we don't have to look at the AHL. We can just go ahead and uh, check our players. It's easier that way. So, All right, Corey jumped to a 79. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at his stats in his first year as an AHL player. Uh... Corey played 71 games, had 38 goals, 31 assists, and 69 points. It's pretty damn good. Uh, 280 shots as well on that. Good season for him. We saw Adam's stats already in the AHL. He played uh, 82 games, 37 goals, 17 assists, 54 points. So minus 8. 22 power play points, though. Played 15 minutes a night. Pretty fucking good. Jason really also was able to play in the AHL, or the NHL. 84 overall, man, he jumped quick, eh? 28 goals, 25 assists, 53 points, plus 7. 16 minutes on time on ice. I'm an 83 overall. I had 10 goals, 5 assists. I was a minus 19. At least I put up points. Playing 24.47 uh, uh, at night. My team was shit, though, so hopefully that uh, plus minus goes up. Uh, my dad, did he play in the, AHL, the NHL? It seems like he did. He did. 79 games played, 13 goals, 13 assists, 26 points, minus 11. 195 penalty minutes. That was a 78. He played 61 games in the NHL. Six goals, four assists, 10, 10 points, minus six. Uh, Vince played in the AHL. And he played in the NHL. 82 games, 14 goals, 11 assists, 25 points. Not too bad. Still 77 overall, though. It didn't seem to grow throughout his time. Callum with 23. Three goals, 17 assists, and 40 points in the AHL in 68 games. 195 penalty minutes doesn't seem enough. I know, right? He should have more. Uh, T-Long played in the at AHL as well. Played 28 games, three goals, 11 assists. How did he win the thing if he only played 28 games? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking guy. 
28 games, and he was the best defenseman in the, in the thing. No, no, it was Adam that won it. It wasn't Thielen. Never mind. Uh, Chad Kingsley. I think he played. Played 19 games, one goal. That's it. He still sucks. Timmy played 81 games in the NHL, five goals, 13 assists, 18 points. Not too bad. Michael Lozato played 82 games in the NHL, uh, 19 goals, 6 assists, 25 points. Pretty damn good. Uh, Cam played 76 games in the NHL, 32 goals, 25 assists, 57 points. Damn good start for him. Olive with 76 games, 28 goals, 21 assists, 94 points. 304 shots, Jesus, shoot the puck more. Uh, Phil played both. He played AHL 58 games, 12 goals, 16 assists, 28 points, and then played 22 games and had three points in the NHL. Gianni played in the NHL 82 games, 17 goals, 10 assists, 27 points. Not too bad for first year. Joel played in the AHL 14 goals, 2 assists, 16 points. Zach Moffitt played in the AHL, as we know, 74 games, 9 goals, 21 assists, 30 points. Marcus Lee. Played both, 60 games, 15 goals, 21 assists, 36 points, and then 21 games, 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points. You did 81 games, 12 goals, 7 assists, 19 points in the AH, in the NHL. Always reliable, that Marcus Lee. Let's check out the goalies and see how Dwiz and uh, Doc did. Let's check out Doc's stats first. And played one game. Uh, was perfect, <laughs> apparently. In the NHL, and then the AHL played 41 games, 15, 22, 931, 196. That's a damn good save percentage, man. How did Dwiz fare, though? Dwiz played the AHL, played 64 games, 21 wins, 29 losses, 12 overtime losses, 901, 299. So he's pretty much the same as Carter Hart. All right, so that's going to do it for the first season of uh, World of Hockey Series 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh,. I will catch you guys on the next stream. So until next time, Hero Club for Life. Too sweet me.